Tell is for you to dance crazy for him. Forget about yourself. Huh? Yes. As long as you have self in the way, it's not possible for you to worship God in spirit and in truth. Self is what destroys you and what stops you from getting to where God wants you to be. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. That's what self does. So I have a team today. Yes, you have sinned. Because most of the time we walk around holding up on our hands and think we don't sin. Hello? We have sinned. The pastors, they sin, yes. Christians, they sin. Prayer warriors, they sin. The elders, they sin. The deacon and deaconesses, they sin. But why do we find ourselves in the house of God? It got a, it's a purpose. So when you come, you can just come because you won't show up brand new clothes. Or you won't show you can buy expensive shoes. Oh, you got him more hair, what, what does that even belong to you? Yes. You got him more hair. So you can see your long hair. Oh, your hair fine. Look at that hair. Huh? What I pay for him, pay for him. He belongs to somebody else. <laughs> but let me tell you the secret about hair. So maybe you would think and appreciate God for what he has given you. You know the hair, you know, especially the him more hair. Y'all know it's placed on an altar to the people of God before they go into circulation? In India, the women go here to the foot. They cut it and give it as a gift unto their God. And then the hair company come and buy it. That was the way I put it out of the Oh, that Allah. This is another quality of the case of Aki Funny. The man you got, all of a sudden you wait no more. Instead of being natural, the way God made you, now I let my words in there, that you wear a sofa in your head. Natural. From where? Whenever one wears hoops, it's natural. But the problem with your son, you are going to be natural. You are not so in. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Amen. But look at it. I believe what it is. Latima. Natural. Natural. Y'all see it? Yeah. Should I pray it? Yeah. Is she pray it? Yeah. Y'all show. Look at this song. Let us tell her, let us see her natural hair. They want some. She's natural. She pray it? I don't want to go more. I don't want to go more. I ain't about Amen. I don't want to hear the life of Amen. Yes, you have sinned. Let's go to the book of Romans. Chapter 3. Starting from verse 14. It says, Who mouth is full of cursing and bitterness? Their feet are swift. I read it, people. No respect the word. Their feet are swift to share blood. Destruction and misery are in their ways. And the way of peace have they not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Now we who know that what things soever the law says, it said to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped. And all the world may become guilty 
before God. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law of the prophets, even the righteousness of God, which is by faith in Jesus Christ, unto all and open all them, and upon all them, faith, belief, for there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Amen. Amen. I want to deal with two things really. What is the purpose of sin and what is the purpose of righteousness? Amen. The Bible in Romans 6 23 tells us simply, for the wages of sin is death. What does sin do? It separates us from God. Not only that, the word of God tells us that the devil came to do what? Steal, kill, and destroy. What is he stealing? He's stealing your dreams, your destiny. What is he killing? Life. Everything that already belongs to you, he has stolen it. The song that you ought to sing by morning and by night, you can't sing it no more. Why? Because he has stolen that from your mouth. Because of what he has brought upon you. The word of God said, you know no peace. You know what it says? You can't find peace. I don't care how you look for peace, you can't find it. Why? Because sin is there to drown you. What is the purpose of righteousness? And it tells you that you will find joy, peace, happiness. You know what this? Yes, sir. That's the purpose of righteousness. That you will have eternal life. Instead of dying prematurely, you will die and have eternal life. Sin caused us to die prematurely. Am I talking to somebody? Sin will cause you to die prematurely. Now, back to Romans 3. The law. What is the purpose of the law? And what is the law? If we know what the word of God says concerning Exodus chapter 20, starting from verse 1, all the way down, it speaks about God's commandments, how we ought to live and how we ought not to live. Am I talking about Yes, sir. Don't really give my talk over. It tells us how to live, how we ought to live. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's wife. Thou shalt love thy God with all the heart, all the mind, and soul. <laughs> love your neighbor. It's the second greatest commandment. And that's the commandment of the prophets. The law of the prophets. They bear witness to Christ. <laughs> Come by on me. You are getting this or ain't getting it? So I can start over. Now, in Romans, Romans says, when you walk in sin, the law justifies you. What is the law? The Ten Commandments. It holds you accountable. Now, Jesus said, if I had not come, they would not have known sin. Now that I have come, they got no excuse. You got no excuse why you should continuously live in sin. No excuse. Because, listen, when you walk according to God's plan, your needs are met. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yes. When you walk according to his plan, yes. your needs are met. Yes. Peace, you will find. Yes. Joy, you will find. Yes. Happiness, you will find.
refine. Consistent flow of blessing you will find. Amen. But it's impossible to find these things when you are justified by the law. Impossible. You can never find peace. In fact, because you live in sin, your feet run swiftly to share innocent blood. Oh, you get this. There are some people who are your friends. And when you get married and you start talking how good your husband is to you, they desire that man. And they will go at all length to have it to themselves. That was it does. It caused your feet to be swift to go to evil. In Proverbs chapter 6, God said, He had a feet that runs to do evil. The abomination is the feet that causes animosity between brother and brother. Yes. Bringing division among the sins. But now watch this. We are people of God, so we are no longer living under the law. We are living by what? Grace. Yes. We are under grace in this dispensation. We are under grace simply because Christ came, he died, he shed his blood, he took all keys from the devil and said, you only need to believe in me.
Because you don't commit fornication anymore. So, uh, you don't tell the air, thank you. I don't see. They're warning you for something you're doing. Hey, I beg you, I don't see. I, I don't commit. Is that the only commandment you got? That thing. Where another 162 that God permitted Moses to create. Out of the sentence. Oh, say I got married. I never cheated on my husband. That don't make you a Christian. That don't make you a Christian. I can hear you all the time. The prayer will all be dead Latin. But say I got married. I feel full. To who? Because I remember when you got married, the first covenant you made was with God. Before you talk about the husband. Or the wife. The first covenant was with God. And they told God before his witnesses, he said, This woman I will commit myself to. To her, everything that you bless me with, I will bless her with it. I will protect her. Some of you protect our wife and our family. Neither can we protect our husband for our father. The father is talking all kind of things to the husband. He is the only lady. The only lady. This is my husband, father. You need to stop. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. you want to talk to him? Talk to me first. Yeah. Wow. Okay, let us say this. Sin. Yes, you have sin. But which sin that causes you? To continue to do it over and over and over again. You think lie is nothing, right? Yeah. That what the devil and who you want all the time. That's it. God said, yeah. hey. Watch this. Do not bear for witness. Yes, sir. Right? Moses yeah. mm -hmm. told me, I brought God said, yes, sir. Yeah. Jesus said to the same God said, brother, in the New Testament. You know that? But you wonder, oh, I, I don't see. But the moment you hear something about Bishop, when you know what you do, and now you want to talk it. By the time you have an error, you have a woman, you want to talk it. What are the French here, huh? What are the loving hearts, you want to talk it. Rabbi talking secret or something, you get crap away. Your mouth just running to go and talk. But you're Christian. I admit you're a Christian. But that's a sin that so easily beset you. So you need to ask God to take it away. God, I really want to live for you. But if mafia, yeah, that's one thing. Read the book of James. He said if mafia can set a cause of fire, can set a whole nation on fire. This tongue. Now hold it. You get up. You like that? You like that? You like that? You say even though you like that? You say. Amen. And then when when somebody else carry all you say, oh, she talk about me. When you talk about yourself first, learn to shut your mouth so other people don't carry your gossip. If those are the sins that so easily beset you, you need to ask God, God, take this away from me. Because I want to see you face to face. Take it from me. They say I can lie too much. Yeah. When he, I even say a lot of people that wrote behind the hello, if I really be hello. Take this lie away from me. Listen, it is serious. You're laughing. It is serious. It is very serious. If you don't know something, don't share it. Even if you heard it, keep it. The person did not give you authority to share it. But then you share it, don't call my name. Then you're a gossiper. As long as you mention that word, don't call my name, you're a gossiper. They catch us and say, oh, go ahead, gossiper. Yes. <laughs> What is the 
sin that so easily besets you. Okay, let move from let move last from there. Let move from the kitchen from there. Let move. No, I told you from the kitchen. See here. Let move. Cast it from there, or you can stink. Seriously? Huh? What a difference. Then that's an area you need to work on. So when you find it in the house to go spend a night, by the time you want to turn it off, or the gold chain gone. I'm saying that we need to catch ourselves in this thing. Yes, sir. Because God's want, God wants to bless you, but the devil is holding you captive. God wants you to walk under his grace. In other words, he wants you to live a full life. But you cannot live this full life simply because you got one little thing that you can't let go of. Kleptomania. No, 
what I'm saying is to get that, that character is impossible right now. That's a stain you got to carry with your ministry forever. I saw somebody, find someone like that, oh, that one up. Uh, when you may enter the PO. You better get out of here. Amen. Okay, that one I want to hear us. We said we're not the law, right? Yeah. Let's forget that one. You get us again. But when you dress, you look like a prostitute. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm going to place it today. I will not let me. Huh? When you come to church, forget the church. Forget the church. Yeah. But you represent God wherever you go. Do you know that? The Bible says we are ambassadors of Christ. You represent God wherever you go. So you're dressing. But you go to wedding. Everybody there, your pastor on there. Your, your, your blouse on there. Yes. It comes on there. What I show you, I tell you. Then when you go say that, <laughs> let me tell you, hold up. A woman, when a woman dress, when she has to sit, who can tell me how she's supposed to sit? Cross your legs. Cross your legs. Don't move for that. I don't call that. Don't call that. Don't call that. Okay. I always see that thing. My sister or my mom, all of them, I went, oh, they put it, they put it, they put it. Make sure you see that. Reason me, when they do that, like the sky go under the wall. Yeah. I don't care how you know you're not seeing. Yes. But nowadays, yeah, they kind of tell it, scary here. Right now, they put it, you 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 put it, I went to a funeral and I was on, on last Wednesday. I was just, they just flashed me all the whole sound. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The whole sound. Even if I took my eye in it, the other one there, I do that. Yeah. 
God never said I make your hair black. No. Why? It suits you well, right? Where do it? Okay, but I'm going to put what I hear now. <laughs> Listen, and this is the point most of us believers get it wrong. You cannot try to fit into the world. The world is supposed to fit into you. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Man? Yeah. But if I, if I plan one day to preach in my head, I know you're okay. I'll say it in place. But the pastor is like, make it a shield. Look at your head green. Or maybe your head will be green. And my head can be green. When God made a woman, remain a woman. When He made a man, remain a man. How can you be a man of God? You party your head like a woman. So that you confuse me. Are you Ishi? Are you Ishi? Because I never saw the power when God made Ishi. He made him a female. Am I talking to somebody? I thought I was going to do it. The next thing we see earrings. The Bible says, let there be no piercing or tattoo on your body. If you put earrings in your ear, who are you going to put in here? You do. When you get men, you want a better wear. A lot of people take it for granted with their children. They let me plant in their head. I took my daughter and seal, clap my suit, my best one here again. Show myself for it. Yeah. Then when the child grows, I'm acting like they didn't get there. What are you doing? You started it. Yeah. Hey, mommy. You started it. The devil, as I said, is not in a hurry to destroy you. He takes his time. He has set those ambushes, and if you fall in it, he catch you in it. You're walking in disobedience. The word of God says, Paul says, Corinthians, he says, even nature tells you that a man should not wear bread ahead. But you got people preaching for the pulpit with dreadlocks. You got men braiding their hair, singing praise and worship. That way, lots of problems. Most of them are following the media. Not the problem because they won't be like a woman. Okay, let's forget that one. But you, you no, no, I don't need right now. I don't carry that. All right, let's forget it. You don't wear correct right hair. You don't, you, don't, you don't dress properly. But you got this one problem. Okay. You may you let men. You woman, you let woman. Yeah. But you say you are a Christian. That is a that problem there for God. That's not a problem for God. You get to go in the state out. I'm born in the in a party of a woman. No, you may. What? Why did God create me? Tell the people. Tell them, why did God create it? God created it to be a heavy to be. No, are we doing it? We have reason. Amen. 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 Wife to Adam. Okay. What does a wife do? Comfort. Comfort. Eh? A wife does what? You know what a wife can do? Then they start talking about what does a wife do for a husband? Mother black. Mother black. It takes to the mother black. The wife gives the husband what? Enjoyment. 
And when he got married, like I said, I will give do unto him all that our wife had to benevolence for us. Everything. He won't kiss you in public kissing them. He tires and say, honey, help me up. Enjoyment comes between man and woman, not man and man. Why I guess or hear anything about anything you in the church. I sorry for any parent. Because I will be there to the read to your house. Yeah, man, this is good, this is good. You don't know me as strong as before. It becomes physical for me and it becomes personal for me. That a parent will allow a child to walk according to the taste of these people in this country. They teach him there, who help, who help, they teach him how you got it here. They just teach him how to pay If they teach him about sex, for all reason. Wow. They teach him there, they teach him a young girl, they teach him. I ask you. <laughs> health class supposed to be for me, health class supposed to be simple about, about how to live, how to keep a healthy body, and I have that. Yes. But if I have all the other women, if you want to know about your family now, talk about communication, you're on the table, you can't explain. So when you be a child, you can know you can go up, that for you. <laughs> but what is that sin that you find yourself, you can't get away from? That's what's important here. What is that sin? And I know every one of us have one. Yes. Or two. There is something that causes you not to pull through when you are already promised God. Something. It gotta be something that causes you. You you promise God a thing, but you can't come true. You know, I, I'm sorry for married couples who they commit adultery. Especially the messing to other people's wives. But the Bible says in Proverbs, about a man who sleeps for another man's life. It destroys his destiny. It looked as if it was sweet then, but destiny got shot. Why? Because you went after something that God already has. He yeah. already ordained it. Somebody went, it don't belong to you, but you went after it. But then, you are a pedophile. Hey, my brother. You are a pedophile. You see the small, small three year old that won't let. Holy, holy, and the genuine. You want to be here with the fire that one that makes your day. <laughs> that one makes your day. Can you tell you say? There is a problem. There's a problem. Some people don't go through with the, what they what they what they got in their mind. But it's a problem. One day it will come to solution. Yes, sir. You will act upon your thoughts. That's why the word of God said we ought to have the same mind in Christ Jesus. That's why when you are saved, sanctified, glorified, you need to continue to walk in grace. You no longer walk by the law. Continue to walk according to the word of God. And the word of God for your life is simple. Obey me and you will be blessed. Obedience is what Christ is looking for. As long as you obey him, the law will not move. As long as you obey him, love him, the law will not justify you. His grace will justify you. God bless you.